Hello, Harvard families, and welcome to another year of online registration. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all of the steps to successfully register your student for the upcoming school year. Whether you're new to the district or have students advancing to the next grade, this process will be the same. Your first step will be navigating to the district website at www.cusd50.org and then click on the registration link that can be found under the Students and Families section, School Registration, 2324 Registration. If you're new to the district or have a child that will be starting school for the first time, you'll want to scroll down and choose the new CUSD 50 Student Registration link. That link will take you to a login page for the enrollment process. If you're a new, if you have a new student in the district uh, and you've not done this before, you would click create account to begin the account creation process to uh, register your student. Once you click create account, you'll be taken to a screen where you will be able to enter all of the pertinent information for your account creation. So that's your first name, last name, daytime phone, email address, as well as security questions and passwords. Uh, when you're done with that, check the box to comply with COPPA and confirm that you're 13 years or older. You will then press Create Account. As soon as you press Create Account, the system will take you to the new student registration uh, and you'll add your first student. This is just your student's first name, last name, date of birth, and then click Add Student to begin the enrollment process. Once you begin the enrollment process, this first page will be displayed and is just an introduction. It discusses the process that you'll go through to complete your registration. One thing to note is that you must provide proof of residency for any new students or a student that is changing buildings. If you're a returning student, you'll have an opportunity to submit your proof during the registration process, or you can choose to turn it into your, school's, your child's school after you've completed the online portion of registration. The first screen that you'll go to after that introduction is all information about your child. It's fairly self-explanatory. We'll move on to the next screen. And the next screen it continues with that basic demographic information, along with information about whether your child attended school prior to coming to Harvard District 50. The family section is all about you and any other guardian of your child. Please try to provide as much information as possible because this is how we know how to contact you. One thing to point out on this screen that is often misunderstood is the emergency contact section. If you select yes to the emergency contact, you are saying that you or any other guardian wants to be listed as an emergency contact. On the next screen, you'll have the ability to enter additional emergency contacts, but you do not need to put yourself down again. If you selected yes on the family page after you've entered your emergency contacts, you would then be able to choose the priority for which they will be contacted in the case of an emergency. In the next section, you'll have the opportunity to enter any siblings that your student may have within the district. Please note that this is for internal purposes only and that you'll still need to register all of the additional siblings separately that will be attending the Harvard District 50. Now the transportation tab is where you can declare whether you're going to have a car rider or a bus rider. And if you choose bus rider, then you can enter the pickup and drop off applications for your child. The next screen is about medical information. Please take some time to enter all important information regarding any medical needs. Once you've finished with the medical section, you'll come to the agreements section. So please take some time to read through these agreements and, accept, and then accept and click next. In this section, you can check the box next to any of the topics that you're interested in receiving more information about. You can now provide your electronic signature stating that information that you have provided is accurate. Lastly, you'll be taken to the summary section, which will show you any pages that might have missing information. Any page that's listed with a red status 
uh, is a, a page that more information needs to be added into. If everything is good, you can click down at the bottom to submit your application and complete your student's registration. Once you complete that student's registration, you will have the opportunity to complete one for any additional children that you need to register. I know this was a lot, but thankfully the process is pretty much the same for returning students outside of the fact that you should already have an account and that you'll be using a SNAP code that you will receive from the district via email as well as postal. To start the next year's registration process, you can simply go back to that D50 registration page and click the returning student link and then enter the SNAP code from your email or letter and then follow the same process of completing the online registration. I hope you found this helpful and welcome to another wonderful year at Harvard.